Prattville, home of the Lions, five state championships, and UAB running back Kingston Davis. Davis, the all-time single-season Prattville rushing leader, goes into the end zone for the score and into the history books as Prattville. It was really uh, an honor to be there. There's so many great memories, I can't even name them all. I loved football, and like any other kid, I wanted to be, I wanted to play on Sundays. Leroy Davis remembers his playing days, but the retired Army Master Sergeant says it doesn't compare to watching his son, Kingston. I tell you, you could multiply the feeling that you feel playing football by 100 when it comes to watching your kids grow and develop. The Davis home tells a story of Kingston's success and journey to UAB. With dozens of Division I scholarship offers, one school and one coach stood out. Coach Wheatley, um, he was a big influence uh, on me going to Michigan. It's Tyrone Wheatley takes the opening kickoff. Tyrone Wheatley, former Wolverines star and first round draft pick and in 2016, Michigan's running backs coach. The coaches were in my living room and they told Coach Bar Harbaugh and Coach Wheatley, we're recruiting him to play running back here at Michigan. Davis's freshman season in Ann Arbor was plagued by a torn meniscus, resulting in limited snaps. To top it off, Coach Wheatley took the same position with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Then, spring practice rolled around. The depth chart uh, didn't have my name on it for the running back position. They moved me to fullback. The position change led to an even bigger change for Kingston. I like to have plans, you know, A, B, and C. And uh, the JUCO route was going to be the last route. I kept thinking about it. My dad kept mentioning it to me. And, you know, I was like, hey, why not? You know, I wouldn't have to sit out a year. That's when Independence Community College and Coach Jason Brown came knocking. Texting me every day, you know, seeing how things were going with Kingston. We really want him here at Independence. Coach Brown and the running back coach actually drove to uh, Prattville from Kansas. It was enough to convince Kingston to make the move to Independence, a city one third the size of his hometown of Prattville. So your Independence Community College Pirate. Kingston's lone season at ICC was followed by the Netflix television series Last Chance U, which often features student athletes with high level talent on the field, but a variety of challenges off the field. Every place ain't for everybody. He's the, the Davises signed a waiver, allowing Netflix to include Kingston in the show. I wanted to go to an atmosphere where I could play instead of just practicing. But they quickly realized things were not as they were told. When you were in my home, you, you told me and you told my wife that, you know, you were going to take care of Kingston. Obviously, that was abandoned. Kingston never received the scholarship Coach Brown promised. I'm a cold hustler. I don't care if you hate me now. He heard more four-letter cuss words in one practice than he saw touches the entire season. But I'm not taking these dudes off the field. Netflix aired only two plays from Davis. Both lost fumbles. Despite graduating with above a B average, the series painted Kingston out to be a poor student, and he was eventually kicked off the team. I watched the whole series that night, stayed up and watched the whole series that night. And I remember calling my dad in the morning, you know, very frustrated and, uh, and disappointed in how, you know, Netflix betrayed me. And I knew I wasn't that person. Everybody that knows me knows I'm not that person, knows I'm not that football player. I didn't even make it, make it through the first episode. And, you know, at some point I might watch it. But right now, while my son is, you know, in the battle of trying to be, an, be a football player, you know, I just, I can't watch it right now. Might have got it, second effort. He did, second effort will get him in. It's the rushing touchdown. Kingston's begun a new chapter of his college football career at UAB, where he joins fellow Prattville record holder Bill Clark, the school's winningest coach. What we saw out of Kingston was, all right, come in here and have a chance to earn something. And to handle that like he did with great attitude, work hard, do all these things to earn a scholarship, told you a lot about it. Kingston's path from Prattville to Birmingham wasn't the easy hour drive on I-65. Him being 19 years old, going through it on something that he loves doing, playing football, I think it's gonna help him to be even stronger down the road. But he's taking every opportunity to prove Independence Community College was not his last chance. You know, the hate comments and, and stuff like that that I get, and 
know, on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. It's very motivating. So whatever these negative connotations are from this junior college experience, let's use any of that to motivate us to be great, and I think that's what he wants to do. The show is very motivating. It just motivates me to, you know, to prove people wrong, prove everybody that I'm not that person that they see on TV.